the safest precautions, liquid chemicals can unintentionally spill or splash. A spill kit will help you contain the spill and keep yourself and others safe from hazardous material. A good spill kit will contain everything you need in the event a spill occurs. Examples of supplies include cellulose-filled socks, absorbent pads, and a chemical-resistant container. Some kits come with basic personal protective equipment, or PPE, like gloves and a respirator, but you'll often have to supply those yourself. In case a spill occurs outdoors, you may also need a shovel to dig up any dirt or chemicals may have seeped, and a broom to sweep away debris. The first step to take when a spill occurs is to always put on your PPE. Every chemical is different and may require different coverage. Chemicals that emit vapors may require full skin coverage and a respirator. In order to properly clean a chemical spill, determine the nature of the spill and how it will need to be addressed. Restand a container that's fallen over, or if there's a leak in a small container, place it in a larger container. After the source of the spill has been addressed, start working on the spill itself. Start by setting a barrier to contain the spill's contents and prevent it from spreading further. Some spill kits will come with cellulose-filled socks, which are used for this purpose. You can also quarantine the area to prevent people from coming in contact. With the spill contained, lay absorbent materials over the area of the spill and allow the spill to fully soak into the material. Many spill kits come with multiple polypropylene pads that you can use to absorb many chemicals. Once all the chemicals have been absorbed, gather all used materials and place them in disposable bags. Different chemicals will have different procedures for proper disposal, so be sure to check the product's label. If there are any containers, equipment, or vehicles that came in contact with any hazardous material that you still wish to use, you should be able to rinse or clean them with soap and water. Spill kits are great to have wherever a chemical spill is likely to occur, indoors or outdoors. You should have one in vehicles used to transport chemicals as well. Good places to keep spill kits include warehouses, pesticide service trucks, first responder vehicles, and at home. Spill kits should be used anytime a hazardous or non-hazardous liquid is spilled or splashed indoors or outdoors. Once the chemical is spilled, immediately assess and don the proper PPE to address the spill as soon as possible. You should be able to contain the spill quickly to prevent the chemical from spreading and to limit possible exposure to people or animals. Spill kits themselves are not made with chemicals, therefore they are safe to have around children and pets, although you may still want to keep these products out of their reach. In the case of a spill, keep any children and pets away from the spill site, and always wear the proper PPE when handling chemicals. Not all spill kits are suitable for all types of chemicals. Some can handle only oils, while others should only be used to absorb water-based chemical spills. Always read the chemical products label and the spill kit's label before applying materials. Any spill kit you own should be inspected at least once a year for any damage, degradation, or any issue that may reduce its effectiveness. Take inventory of all items included in the kit and inspect each item for defects. Anything that can hinder your spill kit's performance should be replaced immediately. Spill kits make cleaning up accidental chemical spills and splashes a safe and easy task that can be done quickly 